my name is Giuseppe D'Angelo. I am a senior software engineer. I work at KDAB, one of the Qt service partners. At KDAB, I am a consultant, developer. I work on a number of projects, and today I'm going to show you a few of our demos here at the Motherboard in Nuremberg. What we're looking at right here is an example of Q3D running on a stock Android tablet. This is a cute application. You can see that there is a 3D content overimposed over a from a video stream. The idea of this demo is to show an operator of this machine what is going to happen when the operator operates a set of control. For instance, if I close, if I open this, the clamping side, you can, the operator can preview the movement that the machine is going to make before actually doing that. Another idea of this kind of demos is for checklists. If the operator has to do certain steps in a sequence, the demo can show what piece to operate on a given point of the checklist. We've got some labels overimposed over the 3D model. I can operate the 3D model and ask it to open and close the clamping side or to open and close the sensor slide. The labels aid the operator of this machine to identify the various pieces correctly. This is a cute widget interface running on an integrated board which does not have a GPU. The idea of not having a GPU for this kind of devices is, of course, to extend the battery life as much as possible. These devices are supposed to be used by technicians on the field, and as such, you cannot assume to have a power source available all the time. The interface itself is pretty basic, but uh, for the technicians, it's actually very good. This is an interface they're totally familiar with, they can totally navigate the menus, select which functionality to activate, and therefore perform their daily duties on the job. In order to share these results, uh, basically you've got two opportunities. One is to add a Bluetooth connectivity or add a 3G, 3G connectivity to this device. But doing so means rebuilding them, and since right now there are millions of such devices on the field, it will cost you a fortune <laughs> to change the hardware for these devices. What we at KDAB have built is a companion app, something running on a stock Android or a stock iOS, phone, which is something that every technician carries in his or her pocket. You can simply scan the QR code and gather the measurements. The smartphone enables you to file this information in a, into a database if you want, or to share them, or to save the information in a report, for instance, in a PDF format. 